Gospel for Today Daily Mass Readings and Reflection Saturday within the octave of Easter April 15, 2023 Saint of the Day is Saint Paternus First Reading Acts Chapter 4 Verse 13 to 21 Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. They ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin, and conferred with one another, saying, what are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning. Never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them, on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. Responsorial Psalm I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, or, Alleluia. Gospel Mark chapter 16 Verse 9 to 15 When Jesus had risen, early on the first day of the week he appeared first to mary magdalene out of whom he had driven seven demons she went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her they did not believe after this he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others. But they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Reflection Jesus rebuked them for their unbelief. At the end of Mark's gospel, there seems to be a lingering ambivalence regarding the resurrection of Jesus. The faith of the early Christian community must pass through stages of faith development, from unbelief and hardness of heart, to belief in the risen Lord. Their initial incredulity to the testimony of a woman. Mary Magdalene, the account of the two on the road to Emmaus, and the appearances to the eleven must give way to a crescendo of faith that culminates with Thomas's confession. My Lord and my God. John chapter 20 verse 28 the resurrection is the fulcrum of the gospel Saint Paul writes to the Corinthians and if Christ has not been raised then empty too is our preaching empty too, your faith 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 14 